Good morning. Welcome back. Um, the first patient that I want to tell you guys about is Mr. Donkey here. This is Mr. Donkey. <laughs> Tell him how you really feel, Donk Donk. He's ready for breakfast. He's standing here with his bowl. Now that he is happily munching away, and will hopefully stand here with me while I tell you guys about him, um, Mr. Donkey is 10 years old. His name is Hopper. Um, he belongs to a client of Doc's, and the client wanted to get him castrated, and Doc was planning on having vet students here for the other horse's surgery, so she scheduled it for him to come over and have his surgery. His surgery, um, we, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys that. So, uh, post-operative care for that kind of surgery, you want to make sure that everything stays draining. You want it to stay open so that, that way it doesn't swell. When they do that surgery, they leave their incision open so that that way everything can drain out from, you know, his body trying to heal that area. And you want it to heal from the inside out rather than the end closing up because if it closes up, that can become a big pocket for infection and bacteria and all the bad things. So you want to make sure it stays open and it stays draining and nothing swells up. Also hose it around the outside with a cold hose for 20 minutes twice a day. It's kind of like an ice pack. I'm sure the guys can sympathize. You don't want an ice pack after that particular operation. And he's doing well. Uh, originally when he came, Hopper was only supposed to stay for one night. But the next morning he had a little bit of swelling. So Doc said, keep him there for the weekend, put him on antibiotics. And make sure that he does okay. So... Hopper's owner is a very interesting gentleman. He has a lot of horses and he has a lot going on. Hopper is about 150 pounds underweight, but sometimes people just get overwhelmed. So we're going to buy him and we're going to fatten him up and we're going to find him a really, really great home and make sure that he heals up just fine. So anyway, this is what we've been up to the last five days. I hope y'all enjoy. Hi. I'm sorry. Did I walk past you and not scratch you? Is that the whole matter? I walked by, didn't say hi. I'm sorry. Zeus? Is there a donkey over there? He's getting mad now. He's snorting and blowing. Because we just went up and down that hill. And way down there and around. And up the hill and down the hill and all around. Down there. About... Uh, three or four times. So he's pretty sick of that, so we're gonna go and we are going to hose everything off. Huh. You like being outside though, huh? Ready to go? Okay, right now we're walking barn. So Ears are up, he's looking around, he's happy-go-lucky.
We turn him around like we're gonna bring him back down the hill. All of a sudden he slows down. And he's like, no. Nah. I don't know. Do you really have to again? Hold on, I need a snack. I'm mad. Snorting like that is, is him going, huh? Huh? I don't wanna. Come on. Ears are back. Big angry face. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to walk that hill again either. Let's go this way. There you go. Now back up. Alright. Let's go hold you up. Are you mad? funny thing with him, even though he is technically kind of a horse, he looks very, very strange to them. <laughs> no, come on. Come on. Okay, this way. Nope. Don't want none. Don't want nothing to do with it. Staying way over there. I'm gonna unplug the fence. And we'll go say good morning to Mr. Donkey. Get his bowl. See if he'll say good morning to us. That was a huge pile of hay last night over there in that corner. So he ate a ton. Good morning, mister. How are you? The same. All right. I'll grab this bowl. Taking Donkey for another walk. Cody is trying to face his fears. Who else is facing his fears? Well, hi. You ever seen one of those before? Come on. We're going for a walk. Okay, so donkey needs to walk. Donkey is not walking around enough in his little pet. So we're gonna open it up and hope that he knows what hot wire is. So he will move around. So it should be interesting. We'll see. It's already hot, so let's see. All right, listen, this right here is the fence. That's the girl. She's married to him. It will bite you. So I want to kind of stay out here with him just to make sure that he knows where his boundaries are. I don't know that he's ever been in a hot wire fence before. And hot wire can be kind of hard to see, especially if it gets dark out or if he's running around like crazy. I don't know if he's going to try and go through it to get to Ginger over there or if he is going to mind his manners and stay on his side of the fence. I'm pretty sure Hard Rock will do a pretty good job of keeping him away from his turf. Hard Rock is absolutely in charge of his pasture over there. 
And that is his wife without question. So hopefully they all just kind of ignore each other. But Donkey is testing his limits. And he said, oh, no. Nope. You guys are big. I don't want anything to do with you. So, well, yeah, he's, he saw that lineup in the back corner and he stopped. So, I'm assuming he's been in hot wire before. He definitely ran all the way to the corner and stopped when he got to the wire. So, that's a good good sign. Means maybe we can trust him to stay out here tonight and mind his manners. Let's see. He keeps his distance. Hard Rock is standing guard there. Rag is saying, this is my side. You stay on your side. We won't have any problems. I think Donkey might go. Yep. I think Donkey might go and test those boundaries. Let's see what Hard Rock has to say about it. Oh. oh, here we go. Donkey ran around here, went behind this pen, came over here and said, what did you get me into? Hi, I don't have anything. You can run around though. Go play. There's a fence there. He saw it. Now, now even still, he's got the whole pasture. That pen is open. And there he stands. So, Donkey has been here for about five days now. Um, we're on the fifth day. He's healing up nicely. He's gonna stay until he heals up completely. And then we have a possible home for him already. He has been pretty great. Very well behaved gentleman. He's having a little bit of a harder time healing after that surgery because like I said before, he's 10. So the older they get, the harder that is on them. That's why it's important to do them young. He's very nice. So anyway, make sure you like and subscribe if you like our videos. Leave us a comment what we can improve on. This is a learning process. But I hope you guys enjoy his story.